Hey, good morning guys. Welcome to your home workout number five. I hope you're all staying well and, and safe within your bubbles. Obviously, you've got your exam period coming up um, and actually that makes it an even more important time for you to be staying physically active. So whether that's going for a walk or, or a run or a cycle or doing one of our home workouts that um, you can find on YouTube, staying physically active at the moment is going to be really, really important for you. And it's actually been proven that um, physical activity can help both your long-term memory and your concentration span, which is going to be critical during this exam period, um, and also helps to, to alleviate and, and decrease your stress levels. So in our home workout today, um, what we're going to focus on uh, to begin with is you having a, an indication of just how hard you're working. So previously, we've used the, the rate of perceived exertion scale where you've numbered it from 1 to 10. Um, but today, to do something slightly different, we're going to measure your heart rate, or you're going to measure your heart rate before and after exercise. So to begin with, to do that, um, you're going to measure your resting heart rate. And to do that, you're going to take two fingers and place them on the side of your neck in this position here and you're going to count for 15 seconds. So you'll have a stopwatch and you're going to count the number of beats that your heart makes in 15 seconds. Okay? So you just stand still and do that. And then you're going to times that number by four. And that's going to give you um, your resting heart rate. At the end of your exercise session, as soon as you finish, I want you to do exactly the same thing. So take two fingers, place them to the side of your neck, and again, count your heart rate for a count of, of 15 seconds. Okay? Times that number by four and you'll have your working heart rate. And part of our discussions on um, our team's meetings will be just how hard you've managed to work and how hard you've managed to get your, your exercising heart rate, how high you've managed to get it, okay? Um, the exercise session today, rather than being focused on repetitions, is gonna be focused on time. So every exercise we're gonna do for 30 seconds, and then the amount of rest that you give yourself is dependent on how hard you want to work. Obviously, the least rest you have, the higher you'll manage to get your heart rate. So I'm suggesting to you to work at either a 10 second, 20 second or a 30 second rest and every exercise is going to be done for 30 seconds. Okay? So our first exercise today um, is really, really simple. We're going to do whole body exercises for every exercise today. So the first one is jogging on the spot. Okay? So just stood upright. You can either jog at quite a low intensity, making sure you use your arms as well. Or if you want to get your heart rate higher, start moving the arms and legs quicker and bringing your knees up towards your chest, okay? And you're going to do that exercise for 30 seconds. Once you've done that exercise, remember 10, 20 or 30 second rest. And the next one is going to be squat jumps. So with a squat jump, okay, the key to making this difficult is not going all the way up. So once we've done our squat and jump, if you can come straight back down into a squat position, so squat, down, up straight back down okay that's far more difficult than squatting landing and then going back down so try and just keep the momentum going for the entire 30 seconds once you've done the squat jumps we're going to go into an exercise a lot of you might not be too happy with me putting this one in um, but slow-mo burpees okay so down in a press up position a slow-mo burpee would be foot up foot up standing and jump down, one, two, three, four, and jump. Okay? If you want to make it more difficult again, just go into normal burpees. So down, feet back, feet up, and jump. Okay? It's up to you which one you decide to do. Again, for 30 seconds. Next exercise then is our side shuffles. Okay? So we're going to try and stay in a low position, squatting down this position. We're going to go two steps one way two steps the other. So from here, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, a little bit like a basketball in a defensive position. Trying to keep that squat position the whole time. Really, really important to keep your knees bent. And you should feel the burn in your quadriceps. I can already feel it. Right, next exercise, thrusters. So, I'm gonna go side on here. Thrusters, keep a nice flat back, okay? And you in your present position again, and it's feet up to hands. So from here, up to there, and back down. There, 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 there. Okay, keeping a flat back the whole time. The more flexible you are, the harder you're, or the higher you'll be able to get your feet. Up there, and back. Okay, let's press this. 
Next exercise, two options here. You've got dead bugs. So they call a dead bug because you, you look like a dead bug. So your hands are in the air, feet in the air, and it's opposite hand to leg moving. So left hand, or right hand, sorry, left leg, there, and back. Okay? Or if you want to make this harder, you're going to do our bicycles. So hands on head, and the opposite elbow to knee again. So here to here. Okay? Alternating elbow to knee. There's our bicycles. Next exercise then, plank. So again, we're working our abdominals in this plank position. Okay, again, making sure we have a straight back. To make this harder, you're going to take it in turns to put one hand in front of you. So from here to there. Imagine you've got something in front of you that you're touching. There to there. Okay, one final exercise. This is just an option if you've got it. There's some shuttle runs, so I've not really got enough space here. But if you have a road or a driveway or a garden, which you can do some short shuttle runs in, try and do 10 shuttle runs. And as soon as you've done that, stop, take two fingers again, find your pulse, and then record that number. And that will be your first set. Do between three and five sets in total, and try and work out exactly how high you can get your heart rate. Good luck and enjoy.